I am all for Crocktober this month, and we are going to start with breakfast. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and today starts Crocktober on my channel. So every Friday and Monday. So double the trouble each week for this month, I'm gonna be sharing a crock pot recipe and we are in my little coffee area because we're going to be starting with breakfast. So I'm gonna be making something sweet today, but I'm also going to be sharing Amanda over at Mom's Messy Kitchen. I'm gonna have her channel linked down below. She is sharing a crock pot breakfast today as well and she's doing something more savory. So you're definitely gonna to want to check out her video after watching mine so you can get even more crock pot inspiration. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna make myself some coffee and then we're going to set breakfast up in our crock pot. For this crock pot cinnamon roll casserole, which we are going to be having breakfast for dinner. So I think this is gonna be a fun little twist on what we typically do. I've got all my ingredients out here. So I'm going to be using four eggs, two cans of cinnamon rolls, and we are going to be using the icing as well. I've got half a cup of milk. We're gonna use two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and then about three tablespoons of syrup and this is the kind that we enjoy. But you can use any brand, any kind that you already have in your home. And the star of the show for this month, we are going to be using our crock pot. So first up, we're going to open up our can of cinnamon rolls. Get your icing out and just set that aside. Oh, I almost forgot. We are gonna go ahead and spray our crock pot because I do not want these cinnamon rolls sticking to it. Or if you have bags, you could totally put in a bag as well. Okay, back down here to our cinnamon rolls. And I am just going to cut each one into four pieces and then toss them into the bottom of my crock pot. I watch you as you dry. smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here together if i could stop the time Okay, so I did cut up the second can of cinnamon rolls, but I'm not going to put them in my crock pot just yet. Now we are going to get the rest of our ingredients into a bowl and whisk it up. Okay, now we're going to add our mixture into the crock pot over our first can of cinnamon rolls. And then we are going to take our second can of cinnamon rolls and just dump them on top. Stay here forever. I'm loving this moment. 
Okay, we drizzled one packet of icing on top, but we are going to save the other packet for after the cooking process is over, getting my lid on. And I'm just gonna be cooking this on low for two to two and a half hours. Okay, once it is done, just take that second packet of icing and drizzle it on top. I did already scoop some out. I'll show you my plate in just a second, but I wanted to show you guys the cinnamon rolls are definitely done all the way. Now, I did go for two and a half hours, and I feel like two hours would have been plenty long enough because you can see it does start to stick to the crock pot. So if I had a liner, or when I make this again, I'll definitely use a liner because that will help with easier cleanup. But here is our, or my plate. This is what we're having for dinner. We're doing a breakfast for dinner. So I've got a little scoop of the cinnamon roll casserole, some scrambled eggs, bacon, and sausage. A super scrumptious and brinner, or breakfast for dinner is always a hit in our house. So this is the first crock pot recipe I am sharing with you guys to kick off Crocktober. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you don't wanna miss any of the upcoming crock pot recipes. And don't forget to check out Amanda's video. After you're done watching it, leave her a comment with a lemon emoji so she knows that I sent you. I cannot wait for this month because I love using my crock pot, not just at the end of the year, all year long, but Crocktober is the best time to get recipes because everybody's sharing them. Also in the description box, I'm going to leave a Facebook group. So I am a part of this huge group of 31 different creators this month and each day, one of us are sharing a crock pot recipe. So you're definitely gonna want to be a part of this Facebook page because we're doing some giveaways, all sorts of fun things regarding the crock pot. Oh, and I think the instant pot as well. I think several people are sharing pressure cooker recipes. So you're definitely gonna want to be a part of that. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway here on my channel. So in order to get yourself entered, you are going to need to watch every single crock pot video that I post this month and leave a comment. Whatever comment you want, whether something that you're looking forward to in October or anything crock pot related, just any kind of a comment down below on every single crock pot video and I will make sure I remind you guys in every Monday and Friday's video twice a week and I will be choosing a winner to announce in the very last video on October 30th, I think if that's a Friday, yeah, because Halloween is on a Saturday. So October 30th, I will be announcing the winner and I am going to be sending you a crock pot and an instant pot through Amazon. So that is what is up for grabs. Or if you already have a crock pot or instant pot and you are the winner, I will send you just $150. That way you can buy whatever kitchen appliance or knickknacks or put it towards a gift for somebody else's holiday season, whatever you want if you would prefer that instead of a crock pot and instant pot or pressure cooker. So good luck. I definitely want to, I don't know, I'm just feeling, I wanna give away this season and for the rest of this year, I just, I am very, very appreciative of you guys. It's just been an amazing year. Even though everything's been going crazy, I have felt the love and I really appreciate that. And I wanna give back to you guys for being so kind and supportive of me here on YouTube. So make sure you come back and keep checking out the crock pot recipes, but I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye.